I really wanted to be productive this morning, but the universe said no. So, we're just not gonna be. Just kidding. But, I went to go leave because I have a training appointment at 11. I wanted to go to Target before to grab everything just so that I don't have to do it after because I have a lot of stuff to do today. And there are Pico trucks blocking me in. And they said they're going to be done in about 20 minutes. So I may or may not have enough time to go before my training appointment, but we'll see. I wanted to be able to run back here to drop everything off because I do have a couple, like, like I'm going to get iced coffee, but I think I can just, like, keep that in my car. I don't think that would be that much of a big deal. But I'm going to make some hot coffee now since I'm not going to have time to come back and make me some. So, I'll drink iced coffee later. But I'm gonna make some coffee. No. Is someone calling me right now? Hello? See? Now we're going to Target. You hear that? They just moved the trucks for me. Let's go. out of Target. I grabbed a bunch of stuff. It's just a bunch of cleaning supplies. Um, but I got a bunch of these um, like wall plugins. This is like mostly what I came for. I also need like toilet paper and paper towels, just soap, whatever. So not that interesting. But I mostly came here for these wall plugins because I really don't like the idea of wall plugins. I know they're not good to breathe in and they're not good for like the environment. But my cats like to embarrass me by taking a shit before people walk in. They won't take a shit all day and then they'll decide to do it before someone comes into my house and it's just embarrassing and disgusting and it smells and I just, I can't deal with that anymore. So, and it just like lingers. So like if they do take a shit, like it will just smell like it. I know that's like TMI, but like, yeah. They do it right before people come in. So I'm going to get, so I got these wall plugins just to like mask it a little bit. It doesn't smell like shit in my house, but when they do go to the bathroom, there's like a slight hint of it. Like you can tell they adjust wet. So there's like a slight hint of it. It's not like a straight like poopy dookie smell in my house. You get what I'm saying. If you, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Like my house doesn't smell. My house doesn't smell, but I don't want it to ever smell. So I'm gonna get wall plugins. That's what I was trying to say. I also got cold brew coffee, which I brought myself a cup of ice and some creamer. So I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee right now while I wait to go to my trainers. Cause I don't have time to stop back at my house and um, make this at home. Even though I did want to put the wall plugins so that I could smell it when I come back, but it's fine. I got this California Farms cold brew in medium roast. They didn't really have much options. I like the La Cologne ones, but um, they didn't have any choices. So I picked this one out. This is so funny. Okay, I should have got food too. I'm starving. Wait. No, I have food at home. Yeah, I have food at home. I should have ate before I left, but whatever. We were getting things done. Here's my... This is so funny to me. We're not buying iced coffees anymore. Just kidding. I probably will. But Dunkin' Donuts by... Dunkin' Donuts has just not been good. It's not been good at all. Yeah, this is going to taste like ass, I think. I didn't get enough creamer. I didn't know. Actually, it might taste good. Actually, it looks really good. It looks like a good... Mm. Alright. I just got out of my training appointment. I didn't record anything today because I really just... I don't know. My camera was, like, dying, so... <laughs> I 
My camera was dying and I had to free up storage and all this stuff, so I just didn't record anything. Um, but I stopped at Whole Foods on my way back. And I just picked up a couple of things for lunch. And then, you know, I just reminded myself why I get things delivered because it's just such a hassle to carry everything in and I like have to like walk kind of far to get into my building. So it's just a hassle. But I did order groceries yesterday. They just apparently had no produce um, from where I ordered, which I just don't believe, but whatever. So I had to pick some other stuff up. They apparently had no like deli turkey or anything. I just, I don't know. I feel like the girl that was doing my, I know I always complain about this stuff and I'm never knocking on a worker. I have done Instacart myself. I literally was an Instacart driver. So I know how it works. I know how it works. And I just feel like sometimes people get a little lazy and I have every right to say that. So if you want to come for me in my comments, just prepare that I'm going to clap back. That's like another thing. Someone, someone commented on my video and I just like can't even fathom that some of you just don't even read that some people really just like sit there and watch my entire video through and then sit there and analyze a whole entire comment and still hit post. Because this girl commented on my video and was like basically all in all saying that I'm not a big enough YouTuber to talk about the weather. Like, do you hear yourself? Do you hear how stupid that sounds? I can talk about the weather if I fucking want to talk about the weather. This is my channel. It's my channel. Okay? If you don't like me talking about the weather, then just skip forward. I don't know. That's why you can skip ahead. Or, like, why'd you sit through the whole video? And then she was, like, mad that I was talking about, like, the, like, the money I made. It was a stripper video. And she was mad that I was talking about the money that I made. People that watch stripper videos want to see how much they're making. I base what I say in my videos is <laughs> in my stripper videos, I talk about the money because when I watch stripper videos, I didn't give a fuck about anything, any part of the day in the life or anything. I wanted to know how much a stripper was making in a day. I don't do it to brag. Some people really just comment and they really try to reach, try to twist my words. And it's just so funny because, like, social media and society today is just so sensitive and I actually hate it because people feel like they can't be themselves because people are just always trying to twist their words and stuff. But, but anyway, I got some turkey. I like getting, like, the oven roasted turkey because I don't really like, I don't know, deli meat kind of freaks me out, but Whole Foods has, like, fresh turkey that they slice up into, like, deli meat. So I like to go there and get that. And then I also got some chicken salad that I'm going to make um, right now. I got some broccoli, some green beans. This was stuff that I was supposed to order or that I tried to order yesterday that didn't come. I got some tomatoes and then I got some pesto as well. Also, I, should probably, yeah, I got paper towels too from Target and the coffee that you guys saw, which, by the way, iced coffee, when you make iced coffee yourself, it just does not taste the same, and I will just never do it again. It just doesn't, it doesn't hit the same. But I grabbed a bunch of these, like I showed you guys, and I'll give you guys a little haul, a little Target haul. I got this scent, I got blue agave and bamboo scent for some of them, and then I also got fresh linen, which I thought would be really nice in here, and then I also got some uh, counter cleaners, I ran out, and then I got a new refill for my Dawn dish spray, and then I got some lotion, and I got some Swiffer wet pads because I need them and they're in lavender scent if you cared But I want to put this all away and then I'm gonna make myself a sandwich and then probably um, Clean a little bit because now I'm excited that I have all my new shit Shit just makes me so excited for no reason. It'll make me excited today tomorrow. I won't give a fuck about it
cleaning my entire apartment. It smells so good in there. I put almost every <laughs> um, wall plug in that I got. I actually did put them all in. And then I was like, this is way too strong. I might throw up. So I took one out and it's perfect. It smells so good in there. I'm so glad I got those, even though they're not the best to like breathe in, but it's definitely worth it. I don't care. Um, but right now I'm gonna head to a cafe to work on some videos and grab some coffee. Okay, I'm back from the cafe. I'm gonna make some dinner right now. So right now I'm just gonna blanch some green beans because I'm gonna make this little like green bean salad thing you guys will see and then I'm just gonna make some chicken with that as well and some sweet potatoes it's gonna be a really healthy dinner I have recently been obsessed with making chicken cutlets so I'm probably gonna eat that for the rest of this week but I'm gonna prep this little salad first because I'm kind of just prepping it all for the entire week. I'm literally gonna eat the same meal all week and I don't care, I'm not mad about it because it's actually really good. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm so doing. Right now, I just have the green beans in some, I just have the green beans in an ice bath. I'm gonna let that just chill in there for a sec. Now I'm gonna cut up a bunch of tomatoes and um, a shallot. everything to the bowl and now I'm gonna add everything in so I'm gonna add some olive oil this would taste better if you had better olive oil don't judge me I buy the cheap stuff some balsamic vinegar salt pepper and garlic powder so I'm gonna add all of this in and mix it all up. Honestly, there's not measurements to this as I kind of just add little by little, if that makes sense. I kind of just add, eyeball it, so just kind of see how much I'm pouring and then maybe mimic that. it all together I'm just gonna cover this up and let it sit in the fridge for a little bit until all the rest of my food is done but this is like one of my favorite side dishes it's so freaking good some ranch on the side because I feel like I might want to dip my chicken in there but maybe not just got it out just in case I made some sweet potatoes I'm not gonna lie I already started eating them because I was hungry as I was waiting for everything to be done 
So that's why it looks like there's not a lot. I probably ate like the majority of them. like a whole in-depth makeup routine right now i'm gonna do a whole video probably tomorrow of me like getting ready and stuff but right now i'm just gonna do my makeup really quickly because my building is having a little happy hour right now and i want to kind of go stop by and see what is going on down there they're having like alcohol they're having like wine and hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that so kind of want to check it out so i might just do like half my makeup right now and then do the rest when i get back up because it's only until six and it's it just started i definitely don't want to be the first person there but i don't take that long on my makeup anyway but i want to do my makeup now because i have to work later and i might as well just get it done i'm also just bored and i don't want to sit around in my house i cleaned my entire apartment yesterday so i don't really have much to do other than that and I also don't have any videos to work on because I got them all done yesterday. But I, uh, so I kind of just have like a day off, but I actually don't have a day off because I had um, some other stuff to do today, but I already got it done. I had a meeting with my manufacturer, like pattern making people for my clothing brand. And it was a really good call, so I'm excited for that. Um, some stuff happened with the branding. I think I told you guys about that. I have to change the name. So right now my patent attorney is kind of running the name through the, the system just to make sure there's not going to be any discrepancies and stuff like that so that we don't run into having to rebrand later when I have an established brand already and when I'm selling products, you know, with branding on it and logos and stuff. So 
Um, it's not that big of a deal, it's whatever. I really wanted the name Tosh, but it infringes on a couple different brands. And although I don't think that they would go as far as that because our products would be different because the one only sells jewelry, but they have their name trademarked for um, clothing as well. Like, so they legally like could sue me if they wanted to, but I don't think they would. I just don't even want to risk it and having to get into all that legal trouble. Plus it's just like financially not smart. So we're just going to change it. And that name was just not meant to be. So unfortunately, I'm going to change it. But luckily with my branding and everything that I got done, I own the rights to the font that she used. So I basically can just redo my branding with my um, with the same font and everything. So it'll be like pretty much the same, but just a different name. Um, I'm not gonna say the name because I don't want to jinx it until it's like officially, officially mine and you know like in the system and stuff. But I'll eventually tell you guys, of course. And obvious, and also like. This is kind of why I've kind of stopped doing like stripper content is because I do want to kind of switch my content over into, uh, not that I did it a lot, but I kind of want to switch it over more into like fashion and stuff that I'm more like passionate about and also kind of want to like teach you guys the process that I went through for like starting my own company and stuff once it's launched and everything and like, you know popping off and stuff that's kind of when I want to get into it more and kind of show you guys how I did it because you don't need school and I always have tried to look up videos like on how to um start a company and there's a lot but a lot of them want you to like buy a course <laughs> and it's like people won't give away their information for free and I think it's stupid all right I finished my makeup I am literally just gonna wear this downstairs. I don't feel like changing and it's in my building anyway. So I am just gonna rock with this. I don't think it will be an issue <laughs> at all. I feel like people always dress up for this stuff and I just be coming in there with my slippers. I really just don't care. I'm not gonna try, especially because it's in my building. But before I go, I'm gonna um, put a little laundry in the washer. But show you guys the vibe in there and everything i think there's supposed to be wine and hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that so it should be fun it's kind of like a little meet and greet because there's a new property manager so i think he kind of wants to like meet everybody and stuff like that so i'm gonna pop in there for a little bit see some of my friends that live here and then come back up